Did you know that OneNote shows previews of contents for certain URLs? For example, when you paste video links from YouTube and some of the Microsoft Office products like PowerPoint, Word, and Excel, it'll show a small preview window that you can use to browse through the linked file's content. These are called rich links. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed these rich links into OneNote note page. Let's start with YouTube. When I want to learn how to do something, the first place I go to is YouTube. Whether I want to learn how to sous vide a piece of steak or learn how to start my snowblower, YouTube is my first stop. So when I find the video that's particularly helpful, I want to save it for future reference. So let's save this video link to our OneNote notebook. All you have to do is just copy the URL from the address bar, or you can also right click on the video and choose copy video URL. Let's pause this video for a moment and switch over to OneNote. When you paste the link to your note page, you'll immediately see the preview window. Let's resize the window by dragging one of the corner handles. Now when you hit play, you'll see all of the same controls that's available to you in YouTube. You can pause and play the video, mute or unmute the audio, enable closed caption, and change these other settings like the playback speed and video quality. And if you prefer to view the video on YouTube's webpage, simply click on this link. Now, you can take this a step further. Let's say you're watching a YouTube tutorial, and there's a particular part that you want to reference later. It's a long video, and you don't want to have to search for this part when you reference it in the future. In this case, you can skim to the part you want to reference, right-click on the video, and select Copy Video URL at Current Time. Now when you paste the link in OneNote, the video will play from this point. I think this is a huge time saver. Okay, now let's move to a PowerPoint document. As you know, you can insert printouts of presentation files. This is helpful, especially if you want to be able to search its content and to make annotations on it. But sometimes, for presentation files that have many slides, the note page can end up being really long and it can be cumbersome to organize your notes around it. So let's try inserting a rich PowerPoint link here. Go to our OneDrive, navigate to the file that you want to insert, Click on the three dots and select Open in Browser. You can then copy the link from the browser address bar. Now when you paste it in OneNote, it shows a little preview window. Let's click on Refresh, and our presentation file is loaded. I'm going to resize this preview window to make it easier to see. We have some basic controls here. You can move to the different slides by using the forward and backward controls. You can download a copy of the file in its native PowerPoint format or print the copy to PDF. And you can open this file in a web browser by clicking this button. But for me, it always tries to open in old Internet Explorer 11. A better way is to just use this link, which will open the file in your default web browser. Now let's try inserting an Excel file. Go to OneDrive, click the three dots, and select Open in Web Browser. Same as before, copy, then paste it in OneNote. You'll have to refresh, and let's resize the preview window. Here you can click through the different tabs and move around the worksheet 
by using the scroll bars. Note that anything that shows in the preview window will be read only. As you can see, I'm trying to type something in this cell, but the text is being inputted below the preview window. If you want to edit the file, you'll need to open it in the browser. Lastly, let's try a Word document. Again, let's go to OneDrive, select the three dots next to the file, and open in web browser. Copy the link from the address bar, and paste it in our note page. Hit refresh and resize. Similar to the other preview windows, you can use the scroll bars to move around the document. You can even change the zoom percentage for a better view. And of course, if you want to edit, you'll have to open it in the browser. Now it's important to make sure that you're grabbing the document link from the browser address bar. The preview will not work if you get the link from anywhere else. For example, if I don't actually open the file in the browser, but rather just grab the link from here and paste it, the preview will not work. Similarly, if you were to open the file in its native app and copy the URL from the share link and paste it into OneNote, that won't work either. So remember to always open your file in the browser and copy and paste the link from the address bar. By the way, the rich links works in both the desktop version as well as the Windows 10 version of OneNote. If the links don't work, make sure you have the most updated version of the application. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks and bye for now.